As you heard, I actually do speaking on a lot of issues uh, related to things that have been passions for mine, of mine for a long time. Uh, democracy, democratic transition, the advancement of women. Also, because of things I've done, I've had the opportunity to uh, develop speeches that relate to security. I'm a trustee of the International Center for the Study of Radicalization and Political Violence in London, at King's College London. The developments in the 1970s created some very interesting opportunities and possibilities because in the mid-1970s we have what is called the beginning of the third wave of democracy when a lot of countries that were dictatorships, Spain, Portugal, uh, Greece for example, are, are, are part of that third wave followed by the decolonization of countries in Africa, some of which uh, have slowly becoming successful democracies. But it, what it did was it really got me thinking about the vast array of capital that is created in a society when you have people who have led, who have done very, very interesting jobs and who now are finished their careers and are looking for something meaningful to do. We also find we can, we can serve a bridging function between government and civil society. When we come into a country, we can bring people together who are not normally meeting with one another and begin to create relationships of communication and trust. So the combination of experience and freedom can open doors to a whole new world of opportunities to contribute. And many people find that leading after leaving is the most fun yet. Thank you very much.